Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man bringing to you some NBA 2K14, my career. Going against the Pelicans this time around. A pretty nice squad they have, but you know we're about to put in a little bit of work. You see me going in, oh, under, getting that layup to go. I should have hit my boy Claver. Now, in game, I didn't see my boy Claver after on the three-point line, but next time I got to make the pay because claver has been on fire lately. Look at that. Oh, a piece of candy. Kufus on the fast break. I'm going to just go up right around Drew Holiday. Get out the way, player. You're not ready for this. This dude tried to climb the step ladder. Nope. Not today, playboy. That was a nice dunk. And some nice defense also. I'm surprised my teammates are actually playing defense. That's the first. Damian Lillard. He's going to run in. Kick out. Showing off that strange range. I have a reason to get hyped. Look at the score. It's 17 to 6. Well, it was 17 to 6. It's 10 to 19. We jumping out on the Pelicans early this game. You see, I'm having a pretty nice star, Claver. I wanted him to shoot that. But he's not going to shoot it that time. But I'm going to pass it right back out to him. And that's going to be a two-pointer. A long range two pointer, but you know he's gonna knock that down. He's just been on fire. That boy is lights out. They gotta show respect to my boy Claver. Don't leave him open. Show respect to that jumper. That's gonna be all day. Look at him fighting on that pump fake, going in with the lefty. Gotta show off that left hand real quick, getting a nice layup to go. That was a nice pump fake also. Calling for that pick and roll. It's not gonna really work out, but I'm gonna go in anyways. I'm gonna pass it out to my boy Dame. Oh, that was almost a turnover. But look at that pass, getting the jumper to drop. If you haven't noticed, this game is way different than my other games. Usually I'm going in, dunking, getting layups and ones. But I'm actually hitting jumpers out here. D-Man hitting jumpers? No way. It can't be. Look at Claver. Claver hitting layups? It can't be. Everything is all backwards this game, but I don't mind it. Some games you just got to get it where you can. And right now, it's just with the jumper. Right here, I tried to hit up my boy Earl Watson. He's not going to shoot that jumper. He never shoots. He has a three under his name, but I don't know. He never wants to pull up, so I'll pull up from the elbow look at that drifting shot at the free throw line and the pelicans are actually fighting back this game we had a huge lead now we're only up by six my boy clover wide open again he missed that's a glitch it has to be but i'm gonna get this jumper to drop i told y'all this game is nothing but jump shots people want to see me shoot more i can shoot now i can i just don't look at this pick and roll to the alley oop to my boy la but marcus aldrich i have to feed my boy lamarcus aldrich man he hasn't been getting that much action I don't know, I just feel like I have to give him some more touches, but he never really posts up. And when I do give him the ball, sometimes he turns into Allen Iverson. He started doing hesitation and crossovers. I don't know, it's just weird, but check this play out. Shot clock winded down. They bring the double team, no time to pass. Running in. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. You can't contain the beast. No regard for human life. I just split the double team, dunking on four Pelicans right there. I mean, it must be easy to dunk on some Pelicans with a name like that. I'm not going to show any type of respect. Look at the pick and roll. That's going to work out perfectly going in once again. We needed that dunk right there because this game is too close. And you know once I dunk once, a few more dunks are coming. Dunking is the easiest way to give you some momentum on offense. And we need that momentum right now because we're down by two points to the Pelicans. We was just blowing this team out, but they just came out fighting. My teammates came out sagging off on defense. Look at him biting on that pump that he thought I was going to shoot. Nope. Stepping in, shooting the elbow jumper once again. That's like my sweet spot. I like to pull up near the free throw line and get that out of here. Look at the chase down block. That boy was angry. I'm talking about just beat that wheat layup right off the backboard. That's what I like to see. We got to play that defense. And right after that block, I'm going to go in, get the and one. I'm trying to get buckets. I'm not trying to lose to this Pelicans team. Y'all know if I have to put the team on my back, I will do it. And this game is one of those games. Look at Kufus hitting me for that strange range. Gonna get that three-pointer to fall. Shooting threes left and right, jumpers left and right. I gotta play this way more often. It was kind of fun doing that, but look at Drew Holiday. Get right around me for that easy layup. That's gonna tie the game with three minutes left. So you know I'm trying not to mess up. I'm trying not to get a turnover. And we have to score on pretty much every possession. And I'm gonna pass it in to my boy Kufus. Kufus comes up clutch every once in a while. Like I just pass it down low and he automatically goes up for the layup. Most centers don't do that on NBA 2K. They want to play with it. Speaking of going clutch, I tried to get that and one. Didn't quite work out. But most centers and power forwards, they play with the layup when you pass it to them. They try to do a reverse or something. Something silly like that. But Kufus, he doesn't play no games. Look at me at the free throw line. Going to knock down both of these free throws. That's going to give us a four point lead. Now all we have to do is get some stops. Seems easy, right? Not exactly. Look at this defense right here. Now, I rarely play good defense in this game. But I actually play good defense right here. Locking up Drew Holiday. What you doing? Where you going? What you doing? Where you going? He's just going to go right up and over me and get that layup to go. I just don't understand. Like, I actually play good defense right there. 
a minute left you see me getting crossed up by Drew Holiday but luckily he didn't go in for the layup he's passing it off to Tyreek and check out Tyreek Evans going in getting the three point play the hard way he's going to get that and one now we're only up by one point we need a basket right here I tried to hit Colbert because Colbert was going to be wide open but 2k made him slide down to the corner so now I'm passing it all around I'm like yo somebody run in somebody cut it's not happening shot clock winding down I don't have a good shot I tried to pass it out to my boy Crab. Crab is going to shoot that he's going to miss that so now the Pelicans call timeout they have a chance to take this lead with 20 seconds left into the game so I'm like lord please no three pointers no two pointers no foul just let them miss a shot but we're DNO nope. but my boy Crab is going to sag off Eric Gordon Eric Michael Jordan Gordon on 2K because this dude is a beast. He's going to shoot that three-pointer. They're up by two points. Seven seconds left. You know, I want the last shot, but if somebody else is open, I'll give it to them. Crab was kind of open. He's going to pass it right back. Three-pointer for the win. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. That young blood is cold-blooded. Showing off the strange range for the game winner. That was a nice game right there. Peace. You have to be elated after hitting that shot to win the game. Where does this rank on the list of your biggest moments on the basketball court? I'll be honest, it was a huge moment. I'm used to having a ball in my hands with a game on the line, but it's not very often you get a chance to hit a game winner like that. I always expect the ball to go in, but you never know if you're going to get fouled or double teamed or something. And this time it just worked out. I'd like to tell you I'm used to it at this point, but that doesn't make it any less sweet.